Hello. Welcome back to InfoSphere's YouTube channel. Today, I am going to show you how to make a double exposure image. We need a few images that we can use to create the double exposure effect. So, let's start. Select the bare image. Click on the background image. Go to the select menu and hit subject. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selection. Select layer 1 and press Ctrl plus C to copy this image. Go to the double exposure image and press Ctrl plus B to paste the image. Press Ctrl plus T for free transform. Adjust the size, and press enter once you're satisfied. Go to the layer panel. Select the background image, and go to the adjustment layer. Create a solid color layer and enter the code 0E311D. Hit OK. You can use any color you want. Hold Ctrl and click on the bare layer for selection. Press Ctrl plus Backspace to fill the selection with white color. Move to the second image. Click on Select to Subject. And press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selection. Select the duplicate layer. Press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Go to the double exposure image and press Ctrl plus B to paste the image. Select the image, right click, and hit convert to smart object. Press Ctrl plus T for free transform, adjust the size, and press enter once satisfied. Select the layer, hit on layer mask. Go to the panel and select brushes. Make sure the hard round brush is selected. Paint the area you want to remove. Once you're satisfied, move to the third image. Press Ctrl plus J. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus C. Go back to the double exposure image and press Ctrl plus V. Hold Alt and click between the layers to create a clipping mask. Press Ctrl plus T and adjust the image. Then press Enter once satisfied. Select the layer and create a layer mask. Go to the panel and select Gradient. Apply the gradient on the mask. Go to the panel, select Brushes, and make sure the soft round brush is selected to remove unwanted areas. Move to the fourth image. Press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then go back to the double exposure image and press Ctrl plus B to paste. Make sure this image is on top of the solid color layer. Change the blend mode from normal to overlay and reduce the opacity to 60%. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.